Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Nike Mercurial Vapor 10 in the latest Electro Flare Pack colorway. Now inside the box, they do include a string bag to go along with the shoes themselves. The string bag is black in color with full yellow strings. You're gonna find a Volt Nike swoosh on one side and your Nike football branding on the other. Other than that, all you're gonna find inside the box, as you guys can see, are the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly and we'll take a closer look at what I think is the best looking colorway of the Vapor 10 that we've seen so far. So of course in today's video we are going to take a closer detailed look at the colorway itself. We're going to talk tech specs as well as performance. We're going to take a look at the weight of the shoe as well as talk about how these things fit and feel on feet. So if you are interested in learning more about this particular colorway of the Vapor 10, please stick around and watch the entire video. If you're interested in a pair for yourself, be sure to check out the review page on my website. That'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. On that page, you will find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes that allow you to pick these up below their normal $200 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below, go ahead and check it out. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's take a closer look at the colorway. Now at the start of the video, I mentioned that I think this is the best looking colorway of the Vapor 10. And the reason for that is because these things are just so unique and just, really really interesting they totally pop in person and just look really really good i'm very impressed with the color that they put on this shoe now of course just like the rest of the electro flare pack it does have that volt yellow accent color in the actual nike swoosh which is just an outline on the lateral and medial side and then of course you're going to find that paint splatter also in volt yellow that is kind of more concentrated at the heel and then thins out as you get towards the midfoot area but still looks really really good but the start of the show here on this colorway is definitely the base color for the upper which is listed as squadron blue and depending on how the light hits it you can see that the shoe is kind of like a lighter blue metallic color but it has that color changing effect so it changes from blue to purple depending on basically what angle you're looking at this shoe and it just looks really really good of course you do get the same effect here on the Superfly 4 in the same colorway that I have right here. But you can see side by side, the effect is really cool on the Superfly, but it's much more dramatic on the Vapor 10. And you can say that about most of the colors, what looks bright on the Superfly always seems to be much brighter on the Vapor 10, just because it is a different material for the upper itself. But as you guys can see, it just has this really, really dramatic color change effect from blue to purple. It has that kind of metallic chrome-like vibe about it. And again, it just looks really cool. It reminds me of like a fish or something like that. I couldn't tell you what fish specifically, not a fish expert, never will be, but uh, very, very cool looking shoe. You do get the squadron blue color in the laces, as you guys can see. Um, black liner, uh, volt yellow insole. The sole plate is a sparkly black color. And then of course, some of the studs are purple and the other half of the studs are volt yellow, at least at the center, whereas the outline around it, as well as the plastic around the tips of the studs are actually squadron blue in color. So overall, very, very unique look, really, really vibrant. If you're looking for something very different and something that has that color changing effect, this is out of all the models right now in the Electro Flare Pack, gonna provide the most unique look and the most vibrant look at least in my opinion. So let me know your opinions on it down below in the comment section. Do you like how these look? Why or why not? And with that being said, let's move on to the tech specs so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. In terms of performance, the Vapor 10 is a fantastic shoe. Um, a lot of people will ask me in the comment section of this video and just ask me in general, what's better, the Vapor 10 or the Superfly 4? If you want a more detailed answer to this question, check out my comparison video, which I made uh, pretty much when these shoes originally came out. I'll leave an annotation on screen. And again, I go over all the details with the shoes side by side. But just to quickly summarize an answer to that question, what's better, the Superfly or the Vapor 10? The answer is one is not better than the other. They're both very capable top end performers. It just depends on what type of fit and feel that you're looking for. They're both light, although the Vapor 10 is a little bit lighter. They're both thin, although the Vapor 10 is a little bit thinner. Um, and they both offer that kind of slim, close to the foot, barefoot feel, although I would argue that the Vapor 10 also fits a little bit tighter. The Superfly 4 is kind of the more unconventional mercurial, whereas the Vapor 10 is really classic mercurial in terms of the feel that it has to offer. So if you've worn Vapors pretty much every model up until this point, or you've always been a fan of the mercurial vapor kind of line, then this Vapor 10 is what you want if you're looking for something similar to what Nike has done in the past. But of course, 
with their kind of updates and slight refinements. Because I will argue that this is the best vapor that Nike has ever put out. Now, in regards to the upper, you're going to get a thin Tajian synthetic upper that is technically one piece. It's fused obviously to make the one piece design, but obviously the final design fits on your foot as a one piece upper, which is really, really interesting. Now, unlike a lot of thin synthetics, they can uh, be very plasticky feeling and somewhat kind of rigid on your feet. This does not have that feel at all. They're very flexible and surprisingly comfortable on your feet. There's really not much of a break in time with this particular shoe. It's just more about getting used to how they fit and feel. But if you've worn Mercurials in the past, you'll feel right at home from when you slide these on for the first time. Now, uh, because the upper is so thin, it obviously does pro provide a very close to the foot feel. There's no extra padding here whatsoever. So if you're truly looking for that one-to-one -one sensation when making contact with the ball, no extra kind of interference whatsoever. That's exactly what the Vapor 10 does very well. It's probably, like I said, the best option if you're looking for the thinnest possible touch on the ball. And because of this one piece design, you get that uniform, consistent thickness across the entire upper. Now, of course, uh, one of the major problems that you're going to find with uppers that are very thin is they lack structure but this does have a fused on internal support cage that runs from the base into the lacing system you can very faintly see it from the outside it is on the lateral and medial side and you can somewhat see it on the inside although i can't really open the shoe up because it is one piece but it is there and it does do a good job of keeping your foot locked in place not allowing it to kind of move from side to side minimal rollover in this shoe and like i said it has that nice locked in responsive feel when you are making those quick cuts and changes of direction you're going to find that the upper does have some micro texturing to it, very similar to their match balls. Not overly significant, but just enough to provide a little bit of extra grip on the ball that you wouldn't otherwise have. And then, of course, ACC All Conditions Control acts as your wet control element. And surprisingly, in wet weather, the ball does not feel slippery against your foot in these shoes, which, again, is a very common issue that you'll find with a lot of thin synthetic shoes. Now, the upper is one piece, so it doesn't technically have a tongue. It's just fused all the way over top. The center part is a little bit of a different synthetic um, in that it's more elasticated than this other part that's Tajian synthetic which is not elasticated at all. So you'll find that when you put them on, depending on how it fits your foot, of course, the center part will stretch a little bit and kind of squeeze your foot, hold it in place really nicely. And then of course, when you do pull those laces, everything is locked in place. Again, depending on how this fits your foot, you may find that uh, the, the actual tongue itself may fold in on itself a little bit. This is a, a relatively common thing. Uh, most of the cases that I've seen where the, the tongue center portion is actually folding in on itself is due to the shoes actually being a little bit too big. But if you do have the proper size and it does fold in on yourself, on itself, sorry, um, it's not something that's too concerning in terms of feel and performance. I've had that issue before just by wearing a bigger size just so I could see if it was something that I would notice while playing. But in all honesty, uh, the little fold over because the material is so thin, like I said, you really don't notice it at all when you're playing. So just keep that in mind if that is a, something that you find when you try these on for the first time. Unless it's something that really, really bothers you, it's not something that should really impact your feel and experience in this particular shoe. You do have a low cut in the heel, unlike the Superfly 4, which of course is a mid-cut model with the collar, internal plastic heel counter, smooth synthetic leather liner with a decent amount of padding back there, which is surprisingly comfortable. The insole is fully removable. It features a mesh liner on top, perforation throughout, and a single layer of this black foam. Actually a decent thickness insole considering how light these are. Um, and then moving on to the sole plate, you're going to find a compressed nylon material, um, which is is thin but also very flexible doesn't have the same look as the superfly but arguably feels pretty much exactly the same as that carbon fiber sole plate so not a downgrade by any means for those that might be wondering um, and then of course you get the mercurial stud pattern again same thing you're going to find on the superfly all bladed studs very aggressive if you've worn mercurials in the past you kind of know what to expect here so again if you're looking for great multi-directional traction that's kind of what the mercurial line is all about it's something that's been famous for all these years so that is pretty much it in terms of tech specs and performance with the vapor 10 if you have any further questions leave them down below in the comments and i definitely will get an answer out to you and with that being said let's take a closer look at the weight so we can see how lightweight these guys are as far as weight is concerned the vapor 10 is very light it's the lightest mercurial nike makes yes it's lighter than the superfly it's actually the lightest shoe nike makes at the moment and also it is one of the lightest shoes you can buy right now that you can expect a pretty decent lifespan out of. So I'm gonna weigh this pair for you today in real time. Keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size nine US 
We're gonna throw them on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 6.35 ounces, the equivalent of 180 grams. So right at that six ounce mark, very, very light. They're essentially weightless on your feet and because of how nice they fit around your foot and how your foot is locked in place very securely, uh, you get that one-to-one -one sensation when you're moving around in these things. So again, if you're looking for that ultra lightweight feel that you've come to expect from these super thin synthetic uh, mercurial models, the Vapor 10 definitely will not disappoint. All right, so here is a look at the Vapor 10s on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock laces that come with the shoes. And on my right foot, I have a pair of neon yellow with black dots SR4U replacement laces. If you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, the website to go to is www.sr4ulaces.com. You find a direct link to that website down below in the description of this video. Now, in terms of how these things fit and feel on feet, obviously being that they are mercurial vapors, they have a very tight close to the foot feel. There's pretty much no extra space on the inside of the shoe whatsoever, given that you get the right size, of course, and really the way these things are supposed to fit is with no extra space. They're really supposed to have that perfect wrap around your foot, kind of one-to-one -one sensation. Not necessarily, not necessarily the same kind of sock-like feel that you'll get from the Superfly, but a tight, secure sensation on your feet. That's kind of what these are all about. Because of this one-piece design as well, you do get a very seamless feel on your feet, um, which is really, really nice. It's a good characteristic of the Vapor 10 that really you don't get from any other shoe. The Hypervenom finish does have a similar one-piece design, but not quite the same feel in my opinion. In regards to width, of course, because of the tighter kind of slimmer profile, they don't have too much extra width to them. So if you do have wide feet, probably not the best option for you. Uh, but again, if you're looking for that tight fit, these are going to provide that. In regards to sizing, I'm wearing my usual size nine US here, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. All right, guys, that is it for my review of the Electro Flare Nike Mercurial Vapor 10. Again, if you're looking for more info on this shoe, be sure to check out the review page on my website, which will be the very first link down below in the description of this video. What you'll find on that page is a detailed written review, high quality images of this exact pair that I took myself. Then I give you a better idea as to how these actually do look in person, as well as buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes, where you'll be able to pick these guys up below their normal $200 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below, go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions at all regarding the Vapor 10, leave them down below in the comments, and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. All my social media information can be found in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, thanks for watching.